What's up guys, we're gonna talk about the ring muscle up and the kip swing that's gonna go along with it and how to create tension and keep the tension so we become as efficient as possible while we're doing them. When I jump up on this ring, my kip swing is gonna be a little different than it is on a pull-up bar. Pull-up bar is very core and shoulder dominated. The rings is gonna be the opposite. It's gonna be a lot of core and leg dominated. My arms are pretty lax when they're there. I want tension in them, but I don't want to be trying to pull. I don't want to be breaking the chain, anything like that. I want them to be able to flow freely. Like if I was hinged at my shoulder, that's where I want the, the break in the joint to be. Now, when I jump up on these rings and kip, I want as much tension through my entire body. So I'm going to keep my legs tight. I'm going to be activating my hollow position, my arch position. My feet are going to get way up, very parallel to the floor. They're going to go way back parallel to the floor again in that arch. Now, a big mistake people have, they go way back into the arch, they become like a scorpion, and the knees bend, the heels go up to the butt, that's a complete loss of tension. And then if you ever watch someone's arms, they go back and they end up with this little like elbow bend, that's also gonna be a loss of tension. I don't want either of those. I wanna be a pliable single piece. I'm gonna jump up, I'm gonna get this kip swing going. Now, as the kip swing is going, and I have a good momentum, I'm gonna wait, my feet get into my vision, I'm gonna add a tiny pull. I'm gonna fall out of that pull, go back into the next rep, pull's gonna grow, gonna grow, gonna grow. It's gonna turn into a hip to ring. Now, I'm not going from zero to hip to rings, I'm building it gradually. What that's gonna teach you as an athlete one, I can practice the tension in those positions I just talked about, but I can also start to learn how to fall out of and string ring muscle ups with the kip without actually doing ring muscle ups. So we get a nice two for skill on this. Slowly starting to rise, a great scheme is do five, six sets, five reps, and count each of the kips. Each rep you add a little bit of pull, or put it on a clock. Do a Tabata, but reverse it. Go 10 seconds of the kips with the pulls, 20 seconds on the rest. Hopefully this is helpful. DM me if you have any questions.